Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So I was at Walmart the other day, came across this hyper tough HT500 OBD2 scanner. It's a Bluetooth scanner. You guys got this, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether it's a decent scanner for the money. I believe it's probably going for like $34.99 or something like that. As you guys can see, uh, they have this now packaged in a box before it was packaged differently but i think it's pretty much the same scanner um i don't think they added any more to it i've had this scanner i've done reviews on the scanner if you guys have this and you guys think that this was a pretty decent pickup for you leave a comment in the comment section let us know uh, how you guys like it it's um supposed to be an all system automotive scan tool Advanced Vehicle Diagnostic Scanner paired with Repair Solutions 2 app for fixes and parts. Now, I've used this. I've downloaded the app. Um, it seems to be pretty comprehensive. And for the price, I don't think you can go wrong with it, to be honest with you. If you guys want to check out my video on this, leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, just do a YouTube search on HT500. I'm pretty sure my video is going to be the first one that comes up. Um, for the price, I will tell you guys that it's a pretty comprehensive scan tool. Um, uh, because it's from Walmart, it's decently priced. Off the counter, off the shelf, it's decently priced. Um, if you go to AutoZone, Advance Auto, even Harbor Freight, you guys are going to be spending probably like close to $100 on a scanner like this. Now, as far as the, <clears throat> as far as it, it does, obviously, it, it checks OBD2 codes from the check engine light. It's, uh, it does a battery system check, which, you know, which is, which is good. TPMS tire pressure. I don't know whether it'll check, the, check it for you or if it actually does a reprogramming. But if you know, leave a comment in the comment section. Freeze frame data network scan. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, airbags. Maybe it resets the airbags. It does a smart scan. Stream live data. Oil light reset. I will tell you guys this. If you guys did, um, if you guys did download the app for it, the first scan is probably going to show you a whole bunch of different codes like it did for me for whatever reason. My car didn't have any codes on there, but maybe a lot of those codes were actually just pending codes or codes uh, that were that were already in the system. And it did a pretty thorough scan as far as scanning for codes that were in the system. It does ABS reset, oil light reset, brake life Brake pad life is what it'll show you. I don't know if it'll reset uh, any issues, any any vehicles with uh, brake sensors that need resetting. Um, OBD2, different OBD2 modes. But in any case, um, it's a pretty decent pickup. Me personally, from my own opinion, if you guys need a scanner off the bat and and by the way they have a, a couple of different scanners their 1999 scanner is probably the cheapest and it pretty much just reads regular codes it really doesn't do much this actually does a lot but me personally i don't like bluetooth scanners because now i when i had the scanner i it didn't it never disconnected on me but i don't like bluetooth scanner as a rule i just don't i don't like hooking up to an app i don't like logging into the app what i do like is uh, if there's a physical line pop it in everything's on a scanner itself but as you guys can see from the scanner this is a pretty small scanner you could probably just stick it in an obd2 port forget about it anytime if you ever need to know what's what's um what's happening with your vehicle pop up the app and i could see the convenience of it I can understand the convenience of it, but for me personally, um, I'd rather have an OBD2 scanner with a monitor. Mm, for me, um, I've had an Autel that I got from AutoZone for like $19.99. Or was it a HyperTuff? It was a, it was an Autel, but it was a HyperTuff um, branded. Um, and it was the same scanner for $19.99. That's, that was my favorite, still my favorite scanner to use because it pretty much gives me like, 
90% of the information I need. Obviously, it's not going to do a whole bunch of stuff like age scan, the, reset the ABS, reset a whole bunch of stuff, re, reset the throttle position sensor, throttle body, stuff like that. If you're going to need something like that, you probably, you know, most people aren't that in tune with um, how their car works, the mechanics of the vehicle and stuff like that. You guys get a 1999 one, not the hybrid top that they have on 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 uh, version of this, not the 1999 one on on in in Walmart. That that was a really crappy scanner to me. But in any case, <clears throat> I've done a ton of videos. If you guys are looking for um uh, for OBD2 scanners and you guys want reviews of them, check out my channel. Let me know. Uh, if you guys have a comment or what or whatever, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Take care, guys.